As Curly Fragrance would say, grab your tea, grab your coffee, because this is going to be a long video. Shout out to Curly Fragrance. Before we get into the list, I know that this is going to be a long video, so there will be timestamps in my pinned comment as well. So as Curly Fragrance says, get your tea, get your coffee, because this is going to be a long video. Let's get it started. So guys, it is officially 2021, so happy new year, and it really is 2021. It's actually 12 hours and six minutes into the new year. And I wanna start off the new year on a big note with this channel and just in every day. I'm trying to make some serious changes in my life and I am trying to be more positive, more grateful, and more mindful. So I guess that you can kind of say that this video was inspired by a good friend of mine who is not a YouTuber, but he is an artist of some kind, and I will shamelessly plug his material. But 2020 was a tough year for everybody. A lot of us lost our job. I still have one, so I gotta be grateful there, even though that I do complain about the job. That job is secure and it pays well, so I'm very grateful for that job. And I'm also grateful for the people in my life. I have everything that I need. And I, and I have this mindset that I want to do this. I need this. I, I need to do that. You know, I need these things in my life. I need more fragrance. And scent of the day is going to be Killian's Single Malt Review in the Works with Big Beard Business. So stay tuned to that. But I, I just, I have this need that, like this mental state that I need this. I need that. When in actuality, I don't. So I'm trying to to self better myself mentally, physically by losing a lot of weight. So over the year, over the, the year you're gonna see some change in that. But just overall, I'm trying to count my blessings and to be grateful for the things that I have. And this video was inspired by my friend Sebastian Leduc because that man is just so positive, he's carefree, he's laid back, which I'm not. And I've never seen him angry. Never seen him angry out of the eight years that I've known him. And he's an artist, so if you want to check out some really unusual work, yet stuff that's bright, it's effervescent, it's colorful, check out his link will be down below. It's all about like bubbles and stuff like that. Guys, it's really unusual art, but wow, it's just, it's incredible for what he does. And he does pretty good well for himself, so please check him out. Sebastian, thank you so much for inspiring me to do this very video. Merci beaucoup mon ami. I really do appreciate your friendship and for what you've done in my life. And with this video, I want to count my blessings by giving back, by showing some positivity and appreciation to the 10 people that I have met over this journey. In the seven and a half years of YouTube that I've, that I've been doing, nobody has come close to the amount of reviewers, fragrance content creators that I have met. I have met between 40 and 45 creators, which is in Insane. Nobody comes close to that. And I think I've met 42 to be exact. I was supposed to meet five other guys in New York City last year, but that trip had to be canceled for obvious reasons. So with the 10 names that I'm mentioning, they made the biggest impact in my life and I'm grateful for meeting them. Some of them are very dear friends of mine. Some of them are just, you know, they come and go, but they still made an impact in my life. Some are big channels while some are small channels. They're in no numerical order, but the first guy that I'm gonna talk about is the very first guy that I met, and that is Steven from the channel Redolescence. Steven is the very first guy that I met, and I met him in November of 2013 at Min, New York. I met him and his wife. Miss Sassy herself, and I like her quite a bit because she's just awesome. Polar opposites. I'm very much like his wife, and my wife is very much like Steven. Steven comes across as reserved, professional, and shy, very introverted. I'm kind of that way off camera, so a lot of us put on this, this act, this, this I don't want to say facade, but this act that we're either happy or that we're, we're quiet when the cameras are rolling, when, we're, when we can be quite different. Some of us are very much what you see on camera. Steven is, in some ways, with the kindness, the mannerisms, the generosity, the professionalism, but when the cameras are not rolling, throw in a touch of sarcasm. There's not a lot, but with some people, Steven's sarcasm does come into play. It really does come out. And he does have a warped sense of humor, 
such as myself. Steven is one of my closest friends and he means the world to me. So I would not say that Steven is friends, he's actually family. He came up here in the summer of 2019, in July of 2019, and that meant a lot because there's not a lot of guys who come up to Toronto. Steven came up here with a family and he actually stayed with us. And Steven, when you do come up again, and it is when you will, because it's not if, it's you will, you have a place to stay with us. You mean so much to me, my friend. Trust me, when I say this, I am very blessed and grateful to have you in my life and I love you. The second person I wanna talk about, this guy is a rock star. He is one of the biggest names in the history of this community. And that is Mark from the channel, Robes Await. I met Mark in May of 2015 and I was like a kid in a candy store. You know, you know what a kid, like when a child sees Mickey Mouse, when they go to Disneyland and they're all excited, or someone who meets their favorite athlete, I was like that. I could not contain my excitement. But when you see somebody that you really do admire and look up to, you get very excited. I thought that Mark was originally from Quebec. So to be specific, Montreal, because he's always wearing a freaking Habs shirt, like Montreal Canadiens. Let me just clarify, Mark, the, the Leafs, the Toronto Maple Leafs will always be Canada's hockey team. But Mark grew up in a smaller community not too far from where I grew up and I was quite surprised because as I said, I thought he was from Montreal. And I love going to Mark's hometown. Like we've, like our two communities always had friendly rivalries from the very start. And I love going up there because even though it's not my hometown, it reminds me of home with the landscape, how quiet it is, how friendly the people are. I live in Toronto and Toronto we are the New York of Canada, so New York is a bunch of assholes. Sorry, I love going to New York though. And it's got a bunch of French Canadian rednecks. Half French, Mark is full, so hey, I could say that. But I love going to Mark's hometown. But when I met him, I was so excited. Mark and I, we have this level of respect we have this we could keep it 100 with one another he could say things to me that i need to hear and vice versa and i really appreciate what he's done in my life out of the 10 people that i've met mark is one of the biggest impacts in my journey third one i want to talk about this guy is just polarizing you either hate him or you love him but i gotta talk about jeremy fragments Yup. Jeremy had to make this list. Jeremy is the biggest name to this very day, but when I met him in February of 2018 at Menfluential, he had maybe half a million subscribers, but it meant, it, it was a huge moment for me. I was in a group of people just making conversation when Jeremy saw me, called me over, I was excited because hey, Jeremy noticed me first. I'm a small channel, Jeremy is a big channel, and called me over, I went to shake his hand, he hugged me. And with me, he was very kind, very down to earth, very humble. He wasn't this cocky, arrogant person that so many people think that he is. Maybe with some people, but with me, he was totally cool. There have been moments with some of the things that he said or done on camera that I don't agree with, but I just mind my own business. And people gotta start doing that. Oh Jesus, people love the bullshit. People love the negativity. And I'm gonna be doing a video on that in the very near future. And that's gonna rub people the wrong way, but Jeremy, I have no issues with. He was super kind, very laid back and down to earth with me. And whenever I would walk by him, you know, I wasn't, I was just minding my own business. He'd tap me on the shoulder and say, hey, are you enjoying the weekend? Which I was, you know, it was a great weekend. And Jeremy also pulled me aside, says, you know what, Chad, I just wanna say this you actually introduced Ferragamo F Black to me. And I was blown away when he said that. I thought that he just saw it from somebody else's channel. Cause I was, I really plugged that one quite a bit. And a lot of people from his fragrance army who are just annoying tweens. And trust me, there are some adults my age who are just on Jeremy's coattails. It says, you never introduced that. You need proof, blah, blah, blah. Let me say one thing, get off Jeremy's dick. When Jeremy told me that I introduced that to him, that was like mind blowing because big channel, 
small channel. My, cha my channel is still small to a lot of, compared to a lot of people, but I'm grateful for the th people that I have. I gotta admit, Jeremy, he had to make this list. You either hate him or love him. Me, I'm neutral, but I'm glad I met him. Fourth guy, this guy is not friends, he's family. His name starts with an F, but his channel name is Bonded by Fragrance, once known as Freddy Frags, that is Freddy. I met Freddie in January of 2015 and the wife and I were going to New York for like five days roughly and Freddie came to the hotel and he was the first guy, it was the first time I met him, but it was the first guy that we met up with during that trip. We filmed some videos and because of his New York attitude, because I have that attitude, I have a screw you attitude just like the, like the typical New Yorker. New York is a tough town so I can understand why a lot of people have that attitude. Mine stems from my job, but I'm blessed to have my job. For a New Yorker, Freddie is awfully chilled and laid back. That's not normal. So Freddie, I don't know if you're smoking, or if you're on something, or if it's just a mental state. Because if it is, you have to teach me that. I am just a bundle of anxiety. Freddie is definitely family. I. <sighs> Through him, I met Styles P, the rapper. I grew up listening to The Locks, Dipset, Cuban Link, Fat Joe, what is it, Terror Squad. I grew up listening to Method Man, Wu-Tang Clan, Red Man. I grew up listening to that kind of rap music. And I met Styles P through Freddie. And when, just like Mark, how I was overly excited. Like, I had to keep it in check because I met Ryan Seacrest. I'm like, oh, I'm not into celebrities, but I was like totally fangirling over him. But with Styles P, I'm like, yo, I gotta be chilled, I gotta be calm. And Freddie was able to see how excited I was. I just, I failed. I failed at that. But Freddie told me that he really appreciated it. He, he was really glad that he shared that moment with me because. For me to get excited, it, it does take some time. It, it does take a lot, really. Yet, with with that moment, I, I'm gonna cherish that moment for the remainder of my life because he's one of my favorite rappers. But I shared it with somebody that I really cared about. And I stayed with Freddie that very weekend. I, I stayed with him and his family. So I got to know his family. The wife, like my wife and his, they get along beautifully, both Guyanese women, yet, Freddie, when you come up here, you and your family will always have a place to stay. I really appreciate the friendship that we have. And I could talk one-on-one -on -one with Freddie about some things that I can't talk about with a lot of people. He won't judge me. He'll keep it real with me. Like he'll say things that I need to hear and vice versa. Freddie, we're not friends, we're family, and I am so blessed to call you my brother. The fifth guy I wanna talk about, this guy's local. And that is James from the channel J Royal. Yep, gotta talk about James. Even though that James and I we don't really talk, James kind of keeps to himself, and there's nothing wrong with that. I, I'm kind of like that as well. I, I'm very, as of late for the last year, I've been keeping more and more to myself. I, I guess it's just life or just me growing. I don't know. But whenever I meet up with James, it's a different type of day. You could be having a shit day, but as soon as you get a dose of James's positivity and energy, you are instantly feeling better. This guy is charisma. He's very charismatic. He's energetic, super positive, and he's crazy. Out of the over 40 people that I've worked with, and some of those videos unfortunately are deleted, James by far is my favorite guy to, to record with. He's just so fun. His editing is like no other. He's definitely in top five when it comes to the editing out of all the creators out there, without question. He's a blue collar worker. He's recently engaged. So James, congratulations, welcome to the club. And another thing I like about James is that he doesn't gossip about anybody. He's gonna shut that shit down right away. Because unfortunately there's a lot of gossip in this community, but James shuts that shit down right away. That's something that we all need to do. And James at the moment has kind of like taken a step back from the YouTube fragrance community. I guess he just hasn't done a video in a little while. We all need to reset. We all need to focus on other things and that's cool. But I really look forward to, to watching his content when he comes back and especially when it comes to meeting up with him. He's not too far from my place and James, when the numbers do lower when it comes to COVID, 
definitely look forward to seeing you. And trust me, when I say this, I'm very grateful to have met you and you definitely are my favorite man to work with. The next guy is also another funny guy, but he's not for everybody because this guy is loud, foul mouth, crude, rude, ratchet, vulgar, dirty, and he is one beautiful bearded bastard, and that is Cuba from Cubano. Cuba, unfortunately, is not for everybody. You know, not everybody is into vulgarities, and that is quite okay. Not everybody's into my channel, and that's cool too. Cuba is just one of the funniest guys out there. And with Cuba, I don't want to say it's an it's an act, but he calls himself the biggest entertainer in the game. He labels himself that, because that's the ego talking, but Cuba, when the cameras are not rolling, is he still got that New York attitude and swag, but throw in humility, graciousness, kindness. He is very laid back. He is, he's a family man. His family comes first and he's real. He's, there's no bullshit about that guy and I truly appreciate that. And he's so incredibly witty. His mind's working a mile a minute. I don't, I don't know how he's able to sleep, if he does sleep. Because he's so witty, like he, he's ahead of everybody when it comes to the sarcasm. And I think, like, I don't even know if James J. Royal himself could keep up with Cuba, you know, because Cuba is just so incredibly witty and sharp. First time I met Cuba was back in November of 2017. And he's a short dude, but he's got a big heart. We've had some heart to hearts off camera, like in private. and. Sometimes I feel discouraged when it comes to this or just life is kicking my ass. Sometimes I'll ring up him and he, we just have this talk. And he's really, he's really real, as I said, but he's also really caring. One of my favorite videos that Kuba did was his opinions on Fragcom because there, at the time there was a lot of negativity going on. And how Kuba says this is not life, where like beefing over fragrances and arguing over scented oil is not life. It's, it's really not that important at the end of the day. Kuba, that video, you don't really show that seriousness side to a lot of people like on camera, but to me that was my favorite video by far. Your sense of humor, however, is ratchet, it's foul, it's dirty, and I love it. And I love you. The other man that I want to talk about, unfortunately this guy doesn't have a huge following. And this guy deserves a bigger following. He's been around for a long time, longer than I have. And let's talk about someone else, someone from a different continent. So let's fly across the pond and let's discuss Raj from The Sentient Man. I met Raj on November 17th of 2016. And how do I remember that date? Because the day before I proposed to my wife in front of the Kensington Palace, because I'm a big old softy romantic, not so much. But I met him and other reviewers from the UK that day. I met Raj, a guy named Ty who's retired, Wasim from Handsome Smells, Greggy Boy, I met Smurfy Girl, Claire, and Mr. Smelly himself, Dan. And Raj is just one incredible person that needs a bigger following. What you see with Raj, with him being reserved, professional, and kind of conservative, Raj is like that off camera, but throwing a lot of sarcasm. He has the British mannerism, so this guy is through and through an Englishman. He's conservative, I don't want to say he's conservative, he's old fashioned, but modern at the same time, and I love his sense of humor. His sense of humor just doesn't come off on camera. For a young man, and I think he's only 35, he's a sophisticated dude. His tastes are sophisticated when it comes to fragrances. I'm a basic bitch, and Raj is a sophisticated guy. He likes his Gatalans. I think that he also likes uh, MFK fragrances. Nothing wrong with that, but you know, I'm starting to get into my Gatalans a little bit, like T T Zura or the Allegory line, which I'm, I'm really enjoying. But Raj, I love how you're old school, you have a kind heart. You're an old soul is what you are. I know you have family out here. I'm not gonna say where, but when you do travel out to Canada, I'm willing to take the five hour drive to that city itself. And I really do look forward to seeing you once again. And let me just say that I'm overdue to a trip to England because there are other guys as well that I wish to see. And when I do come out there, you're gonna have to come out as well. 
Next guy I want to talk about, this guy is one beautiful, bald-headed man. Kind of like me, but his shine is way better. Mine, I ran out of shaving cream this morning, so. Ugh. But I want to talk about Carlos from the channel, Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Along with Steven, I met Carlos the very same day. So he's one of the first guys that I met. Unfortunately, however, Carlos couldn't make it out to mid New York as I believe he was working. So I met him at a restaurant. I don't know the name of it, Carlos, but they had some amazing fried pickles. So if you know the name and if you're watching, please let me know down below. But it was a great dinner. And Carlos wears his heart on his sleeve, very much like me. Like we're both sensitive. We, we kind of have this, you know, I don't want to say tough guy persona. We, uh, we do have an attitude. He has the New York attitude and I have the Toronto attitude. And I love how he's sarcastic and has that attitude. And yes, we do clash, but he's an amazing soul. He, he has a great heart. He's generous, he's kind, he's funny. It's, it, it's hard doing a video with Carlos because there's always bloopers, so there's always some laughter involved. And Carlos, hopefully one time that you're able to come up here, I would love to have you up in Toronto. And uh, another thing, um, you still owe me a Trusardi video. I'm playing. I tend to bust Carlos's balls on that. And just like on his live chat, his live stream last night, I was kind of mentioning that. He's like, Chad, you never stop. You know what? You know what I'm never gonna stop? I'm never gonna stop being your friend and I very much appreciate you and I love you. This video is very long. The next person I wanna talk about, this guy is the original Jeremy Fragrance. Yet he's from the west coast of the United States and that is Coach Rob 619. Yes, I did say that Coach is the original Jeremy Fragrance because he is. Jeremy plugs all the mass appealing fragrances and the compliment getters, and Rob does as well, but he talks about niche as well. Jeremy, for the most part, is more about the designers, but Rob will plug some niche. And Rob's motto is, depending on what the ladies say, determines what I spray. So in some ways, I would say that he's like Jeremy, just a better version, just a little bit more just more suave, more cool, definitely. Oh, Rob has that, that California vibe. Sunny San Diego, that was an amazing trip that I took. The wife and I, we went there in Labor Day weekend of 2019, and we, we had to go to someplace. I says, I really wanna go to San Diego. It wasn't her first pick, but she says, as long as there are beaches, so we went to the beach, Rob took us to a few beaches, and Rob just showed us around town. Rob was returning the favor that I did with him because Rob came up here in April. It was April 1st of 2016. I remember that because, you know, it's April 1st, you know, like you think April Fool's Day. But it was snowing. I think it was the first time that he saw snow. It was the first time his stepson saw snow, and Rob came up here. And when he said that, you know, I'm coming up to Mississauga, I'm like, where are you staying? And I did the chat thing. I did the creepy stalker chat thing. I went on my balcony and I took a picture as to where Rob was staying. I'm like, this is where, this is how far you are from my location. We're gonna have to meet. Rob was literally, and I'm not making this up, a 60 second, a one minute drive up the street from where I live. And when I met up with Rob, it was an instant bromance. He, as I said, just, calm, he's cool, he's suave, he is definitely swagged up. He's an older cat, he has that old school coolness, that, that's Rob. Rob, I appreciate your friendship. You haven't made a video in a little while, I know that you're focusing on family and other matters, but I hope that you come back. And again, thank you for showing me and the wife around. San Diego was an amazing trip. I love that California West Coast vibe. It's so chilled, so laid back, so not me, but it's something that I need to learn. And thank you. Thank you very much for your friendship. And this video is long enough, so let's just get to the last guy. This guy embodies humanity. If everybody was like this man, this world would be so much better. He's an older man, he is sophisticated, he is classy, has a massive heart. That is Liner Smith.
I met Lanyard in October of 2014. I know it was that because it was the very first time that I went to California and it was the first trip that I took with my wife. Langer is incredible. He met us at the airport and brought us all the way to our hotel when he didn't have to. And I think that we stayed there for four days. And every single day that we were there, he met up with us when he didn't have to. And I think that he took time off work. I, I really don't know. But he is an amazing tour guide. He, this guy is a walking encyclopedia when it comes to San Francisco and culture and arts. If you're not familiar with his channel, he's all about artistry and culture. He embodies sophistication, class, elegance, humanity, a gentleman. He is from a different generation and he's seen a lot of positive social changes. Changes that needed to happen. And he's told me some of his experiences and they just make your jaw drop from some of the things that he's seen and experienced. But out of all the people that we met, Lanyard was probably one of the best people that we have met. My wife adores him, she loves him. What's not to love? As a tour guide, he would say, this restaurant was open on in this year, this actor came to this restaurant, this place has significant history, this is where the march happened, this, is, this museum opened here, another celebrity came here. The guy is just one giant walking encyclopedia, or if you're a millennial, I guess that would be Wikipedia. But the man just embodies what humanity should be. If everybody was like Lanyard, this world would be so much better. And Lanyard, thank you so very much. You gotta come up to Toronto, and when you do, let me know, and I will personally show you around like you showed me. We have come to the end of the video. It's 40 minutes long, it might be longer, I don't know, so I'm not looking forward to the editing. So if you have not watched this video in its entirety, I cannot blame you. It's I have a hard time watching my own videos when it comes to the final cut to make sure that they're, they're good enough. So any names that I've mentioned, their channels will be down in the description below. Again, I just want to personally thank each and every single one of the people that I mentioned for their friendship and I'm truly blessed and grateful to have met you, to share the experiences that we've experienced and you've enriched my life. Again, 2021, I'm trying to count my blessings and to I'm learning to be more grateful. And hopefully with this very video, I did that. Guys, if you like this very video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share the video, subscribe if you're new to this channel. I will be doing another video similar to this, but 10 fragrance creators that I hope to meet one day. Guys, I thank you for your time, and trust me, this was a lot of time, and I'm grateful for that time that you spent with me. Thank you very much, and I'll see you later.